So, you're thinking about getting an electric vehicle? That's great! They're good for the environment, and you'll save money on gas in the long run. But before you hit the electric highway, let's talk about your home's electrical system. Installing an EV charger is a smart move, but you need to be sure your home can handle it. Many older homes in Canada have a 100 amp electrical service. This was fine when our biggest power draws were the fridge and the TV. But times have changed. Today's homes have more electronics than ever, and an EV charger adds a significant load. We're talking about a potential fire hazard if your system isn't up to snuff. That's why it's crucial to have a licensed electrician assess your electrical system before you even think about installing an EV charger. They can determine if your current setup can handle the extra load or if you'll need an upgrade. Trust me, it's better to be safe than sorry. A 100 amp service means your electrical panel can safely handle up to 100 amps of current flowing through it at any given time. Think of it like a water pipe. The larger the pipe, the more water can flow through it. Your electrical system works the same way. Now an EV charger draws a lot of power, especially if you need to charge your car quickly. A level 2 charger, the kind most homeowners install, typically draws between 30 and 50 amps. That's a big chunk of your available power right there. If you start adding up the power draw of your other appliances, your fridge, oven, HVAC system, water heater, lights, and all those gadgets, you can quickly see how a 100 amp service might get overloaded. And overloading your electrical system is a recipe for disaster. We're talking tripped breakers, damaged appliances, and even electrical fires. This is where a licensed electrician comes in. Special considerations for multi-unit buildings, townhomes, row housing, and apartment buildings have shared electrical infrastructure, meaning load management systems will be required. Dedicated circuits and breaker upgrades might be necessary. Condo board and inspection authority approvals will be needed before installation. They can perform a thorough electrical load calculation to determine the total electrical demand in your home. This calculation considers all your existing appliances, lighting, and any future electrical needs, including that shiny new EV charger. Section 8 of the Canadian Electrical Code provides specific guidelines for electrical load calculations. It's not something you want to guesstimate or try to figure out yourself. A licensed electrician knows the code inside and out, and will ensure your electrical system meets all the safety standards. They'll consider factors like the size of your home, the number of occupants, your typical electricity usage, and the amperage of your EV charger. Based on this calculation, they can tell you if your existing 100 amp service is sufficient or if you'll need to upgrade to a 200 amp service to accommodate your EV charger safely. Once you've had a professional electrical load calculation done, and you know what your home's electrical capacity is, you can start looking at solutions for powering up your EV safely. If your current 100 amp service isn't enough, don't worry, you have options. Upgrading to a 200 amp panel is the most comprehensive solution. This gives you plenty of power to handle the demands of an EV charger and any other electrical needs you have now or in the future. It's an investment worth considering, especially if you plan on staying in your home for a long time. Another option is installing a load management device. This intelligent device monitors your home's electrical consumption and automatically adjusts the charging rate of your EV charger to prevent overloading your system. It's a cost-effective way to maximize your existing electrical service while still being able to charge your car. No matter what solution you choose, always, and I mean always, hire a licensed electrician to do the installation. They'll ensure the job is done right and up to code, keeping your home and family safe. Remember, when it comes to electricity, it's always better to be safe than sorry.